Ok, uh, mi nombre es Everoldines Nieto Pérez. My name is Everoldines Nieto Pérez, and it's a pleasure to be with you in this group. Today we are going to start this English course. Uh, welcome to everyone. Bienvenidos todos, ¿verdad? It's a pleasure to meet you. Es un gusto conocerlos. And I hope we learn too much, right? So let's okay. start with the some general requirements. Vamos a comenzar recordando, ¿verdad? Algunos aspectos que ustedes ya conocen acerca de cómo funciona el programa, porque ya estuvieron en el primer nivel, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. Yeah. Muy bien, give me a second. Vaya, muy bien. Aquí están algunos de los requerimientos, ¿verdad? Pueden ver la presentación, me confirman que en you see the slide. Yes. 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 Yes, yes. 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 Oh. yes I can. Ok, very good. So we are going to start to remember you these requirements. And the first one is nombre completo según su due, ¿verdad? Tiene que aparecer en la pantalla, ¿verdad? Usted tuvo que ingresar con el nombre completo según su due para poder reconocerle, ¿verdad? Y no llamarle por otro nombre. Eh, número dos, encender su cámara durante la sesión. De lo que dure la clase, ¿verdad? La cámara debe de estar encendida. Minimizar el sonido ambiente, ¿verdad? Dentro de lo que sea posible, ¿verdad? Eh, estar en un lugar ¿verdad? donde no haya mucha bulla para que no seamos interrumpidos y en este punto sí les voy a pedir ¿verdad? Que, tra que lo hagamos mucho participación activa durante la clase eso sí se lo voy a suplicar ¿verdad? cuando le toque participar o tenga una duda por favor hágala ¿verdad? no se quede con esa duda porque a la hora de resolver los ejercicios ahí se va a acordar ¿verdad? No le pregunte al teacher, pero igual tiene la oportunidad de escribirla. Escribirla ¿verdad? y hacerla en la siguiente clase. No nos quedemos con ninguna duda. Si usted tiene una duda ¿verdad? en la plataforma, usted puede levantar la manita o levanta su manita ahí ¿verdad? y me dice, mira, teacher, tengo una pregunta. ¿verdad? Estamos para aprender. ¿verdad? Nadie le va a decir nada porque preguntemos. Entonces es importante ¿verdad? y que participe también, ¿verdad? Entre más practiquemos este idioma, vamos a ser mejores cada día. Entonces, participación activa, por favor. Asistencia del 100% a las sesiones virtuales. Asistencia al 100%, lastimosamente no hay permisos. Y si por alguna razón usted no se puede conectar, puede hacérmelo saber. ¿verdad? Pero esperaríamos que usted esté en las sesiones virtuales. ¿verdad? las todo, las 16 sesiones, ¿verdad? Tareas y evaluaciones. Es necesario cumplir con el 80% de las tareas y evaluaciones. ¿verdad? ¿Dónde vamos a encontrar estas tareas y estas evaluaciones? En la plataforma en la que ya tienen acceso. ¿verdad? ¿Ya todos tienen acceso a la plataforma? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, ok. ¿Ya pudieron yes, ver los yes. primeros ejercicios? Yes, yes. teacher. Yes. Ah, ok, excelente. Eh, en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Usted puede equivocarse y corregir sin ningún problema, ¿verdad? Eso no le va a bajar su nota. La plataforma es para que usted practique lo suficiente, ¿verdad? Para aprender, ¿verdad? Entonces, es importante, ¿verdad? Veamos, por aquí me han escrito en el chat. Bye. Um, si escuchas al teacher, ¿tienen problemas al escucharme? Yo lo escucho bien. Ay, usted sí lo escucha. Ay, algunos compañeros tienen que activar, ¿verdad? En la plataforma tienen que activar el sonido de su computadora. Ay para que puedan conectarse sin ningún problema. Entonces, en general, estos serían los requerimientos, ¿verdad? Es importante que vayamos resolviendo los ejercicios en la plataforma. Recuerde que tienen que estar resueltos todos, ¿verdad? Antes de nuestra última sesión. 
antes de, antes de nuestra última clase ya debe de estar finalizado, ¿verdad? Muy bien. No sé si tiene alguna pregunta respecto a eso. Si no, pues comenzaríamos con la clase. Do you have any questions? Questions? Ok, Luis, thank you. If you don't have any questions, so let's start with the topic for today, right? Today we are going to study the simple present, the simple present tense. So let's go with this. Let's start the class of today. Okay, here we go. The simple present tense. This is the topic for today. Uh, this is our class number one. Okay, let's start with this thing. This question, how do you get to work? How do you get to work? This question mean, ¿Cómo llegas a tu trabajo? How do you get to work? Uh, and I have four verbs here. Drive, take, walk, and write. Drive, take, walk, and write. ¿Y ¿Conocen estos verbos? Do you know this verb? Do you know the meaning of this verb, guys? Yes, yes, yes. I do. Okay, the first one, drive, right? Drive, take, walk, and write. There are eight ways to get to work, right? and we are going to study them. Number one is drive, conducir, ¿verdad? Number three, take the bus. Uh, number two, walk. Number four, take the train. Unfortunately, here in El Salvador, uh, we don't have train, right? We don't have train anymore, right? But in other countries, they, they have, right? Take the train say a taxi, there are two ways of say taxi in English. You can say taxi or you can say cab. Take the subway, take the subway. Here in El Salvador, we don't have this, right, this option, take the subway. Here, right, uh, give me a second, I'm going to move this here. Okay, ride a bike. Ride a bike is another option and ride a motorcycle. Si pueden repetir conmigo, drive, walk, drive, walk, walk drive, take walk. the bus, take, take the bus, the bus. bus. Take, the train. Take, take the train, take a taxi, take, take, a, taxi. take a cab, Take, take, the take the subway. Take, take the subway. Ride a bike. Ride, ride, a, a, bike. Bike. ride, 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 ride a bike. Ride a motorcycle. Ride a motorcycle. Now I have here a small practice. Tenemos acá una pequeña práctica. Uh, how do you get to work? I drive to work. How do you get to work? I take the bus to work. Now I want to listen to some of you. Me gustaría escuchar a alguno de ustedes. How do you get to work? What is the question? How do you get to work? ¿Cómo llega al trabajo? ¿Qué medio de transporte utiliza? And you can say, I drive a car. Okay, Luis, say I drive a car. Yes. Yeah. I go on foot to work. Okay, I walk. I walk to work. I work to work, right? I walk to work. Currently, I don't work. Okay, she said, I don't work. I stay at home. I try to work. I try to work. I Excellent. Any other? I drive to work. Okay, Lucila said, I drive to work. How do you get to work? That is the question. How do you get to work? So okay. let's see. Luis, can you please ask the question to Lorena Elizabeth? 
how do you get to work? Uh, Elizabeth, how do you get to work? I'm sorry, I drive to work. Okay, thank you. Now let's see Ricardo de Jesus. Can you ask please to Ronald Luna? Uh, how do you get to work, Ronald? I take a bus to work. Thank you. He takes a bus to work. Uh, now let's see Oscar. Can you ask to Lorena Dinora, please? How do you get to work? Sorry. Uh, uh, Lorena me dijo teacher. Yes, Lorena Dinora. Eh, eh, solo aclararle que me acabo de integrar porque me está fallando mucho el internet. Okay. Lorena, how do you get to work? I, I take the bus. I take the bus. Okay, excellent. Maybelline, can you please ask the question to Lisbeth, please? How do you get to work? I take the bus. Lisbeth, how do you get to work? Um, I take bus to work. I take the bus to work. Okay, excellent. Thank you. So let's continue with this. Okay, here we go. How do you get to work? That is the question. And we can answer with all these A option, right? I drive, I walk, I take the bus, I take the train, I take a taxi, I take a cab. I take the subway, I ride a bike, I ride a motorcycle. We can use uh, one of these options to answer this question. How do you get to work? Okay, today we are going to speak about simple present, right? As I said before, it is easy to make sentences in this tense. This is the structure we are going to need. Esta es la estructura que necesitamos para. Esta es la estructura que necesitamos para hacer oraciones, verdad? En este tiempo, en simple present, we need a subject. Necesitamos un sujeto, a verb, un verbo, plus a complemento y un complemento, subject, verb, and complement. That is the structure we are going to need to make non affirmative statement. Let's see this example. I live in San Salvador. I live in San Salvador. Yo vivo en San Salvador. What is the subject? What is the subject in the sentence? I. 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 The verb, what is the verb? Live. 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 Okay. I live in San Salvador. Very good. You work every day. You work every day. Usted trabaja todos los días. What is the subject? What is the subject in the you. sentence? You. 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 What is the verb? Work. Work. And the complement. And the complement. Every day. Every day. Okay, excellent. You are doing really good. Let's go with the next example. He walked to school. He walked to school. What is the subject? He. 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 The bird. He. What is the bird? Walk. And the complement? To the school. 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 Okay, Just thank you. She takes, she takes the sad way to work. She is the subject. She. She is the subject she. and the bird. Okay. Okay. The bird. Okay. Okay. And the bird. And the complement. Complement. So we work. Okay, thank you. And we have another three example here. We use the train service to drive to work, and they use the public transportation. 
Now, you, uh, do you notice a difference in these two verbs? Notan alguna diferencia en estos dos verbos? What is different with the rest? Uh, yes. Seras personas en lo que es Ah, ok. Ok, thank you. Se quede en el audio, por favor. Thank you. Ok, uh, aquí hay una diferencia en los verbos, ¿verdad? Y es esta pequeña S. This is right. He walks and she takes. It is because they are third person. Estas son terceras personas. ¿verdad? Y en las terceras personas tenemos que agregar esta S para que esté la oración gramaticalmente correcta. Porque es tercera persona. He walks to school. She takes the subway to work. Then we are going to add in third person and next to the birth rate. Okay. Uh, look at the bird. Live, work, walks, walks. takes, use, drive, yeah. and use again. Okay, take a look at this bird. Con esos verbos pueden hacer una oración en simple present. Can you say a sentence using this word? Remember, you need a subject, a bird, and a complement to make a sentence. A volunteer, please. I'm going to change someone. Maurice Sai, can you please say a sentence? Remember the structure. The structure is subject, bird, and complement. In this way, we make sentences. Look at this. Teacher? Yes? Uh, I don't know. Um... I um I work um on Sunday, for example. Okay, I work on Sundays. Okay, excellent. I work on Sunday. Yes, that is a good example. I work on Sunday. Yo trabajo los días domingos. I work on Sundays. Excellent. Thank you. And one more, one example more. She, 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 she walks around in the park. Okay, she walks around, she walks around in the park. Okay, very good example, thank you. She walks around in the park. Then, thank you. Yeah, you're, you were right. You were doing very good. It's easy for you. So let's continue. Let's do this. Okay. Uh, let's continue. This is the affirmative sentences. And we are going to study also the negative statements. Negative statements today. So subject plus don't or doesn't plus a verb plus a complement. De esta manera, utilizando esta estructura, vamos a hacer oraciones negativas en el presente simple, ¿verdad? We need a subject, don't or doesn't, verb plus a complement. Look at this. Don't is a contraction of do not. Don't is a contraction of do not. Don't. Doesn't is a contraction of does not. With the pronouns I, you, we, and they, we are going to use don't. With the pronouns he, she, they are third person, we are going to use doesn't. We are going to use, use doesn't. And here I have some examples. I don't live in San Salvador. You don't work every day. He doesn't walk to school. She doesn't take the subway to work. We don't use the train service. You don't drive to work. They don't use the public transportation. 
As you can see, with I, I use I don't. I don't live. You don't. You don't work. He doesn't walk. She doesn't taste the subway. We don't use the train. You don't drive to work. They don't. They don't use the public transportation. Then remember this, this is important, right? I don't, you don't, he doesn't, she doesn't, we don't use, we don't, you don't, and they don't. De esta manera vamos a utilizar este auxiliar ¿verdad? para hacer la negación en las, en las oraciones. Okay. Maybelline, Vanessa, what is your question? Do you have a question? What is your question, Maybelline? No, nada más decirle que creo que usted puede apagar los audios de, de los que los entiende, que a veces usted habla y se escucha el sonido de, de quien tiene encendido el micrófono. Ah, ok. Bueno, si me colaboran con eso, por favor. Eh. Oscar Baltasar, what is your question? Thank you, teacher. Es, nos va a compartir esta, estas imágenes en, en el grupo. Sí puedo compartir en la presentación en el grupo, ¿verdad? Sí puedo compartir. Por favor. Sí. Sí. Gracias. Ok. Any other question? Do you have any other question? Ok, we continue. Ok, please turn off your microphone. And if you need to talk, yes, turn on, please. So let's see the, the next one is an exercise. We're going to do this exercise on scramble the following works to make correct sentence. On scramble the following works to make correct sentences. I have a key, here some work and you have to order them to make a correct sentence. Number one, in este ejercicio vamos a ordenar Palas, palabras para hacer una oración correcta. What is the correct sentence number one? I drive, I drive, I drive to school. school. Okay, excellent. I drive to school, right? We need a subject, we need a verb, and we need a complement. I drive to school. Excellent. Number two, what is number two? He takes, she takes, takes the train. Takes the train. The train. The train. The train. She takes the train. Okay, she takes the train. Excellent. Number three. What is the correct I, sentence in number three? My mother and my mother. mother, mother, mother. I. My mother and I. 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 My mother works to work. My mother and I work to work. Okay, I excellent. My mom. Okay, we're going to start here, right? My, my mother, mother. and I, and I, I work, work, to work, to work, work, to work. work. My mother and I work to work. Excellent. Number four, what is the correct answer in number four? He works. He works. He works. He works. Okay, excellent. We are going to start in this one part. He, the subject, the bird. He works near here. Él trabaja cerca de aquí, ¿verdad? Él trabaja cerca. The last one, number five. What is the correct answer in number five? What is the correct sentence? John, John right, John, right, my right, 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 work a motorcycle. I work a motorcycle. Okay, we're going to start here. John, right, 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 a motorcycle. motorcycle. To work. to work, to work, to work. Okay, this was tricky, right? This was tricky because we have here an 
tenía un truco ahí, ¿verdad? Tenía ahí una mayúscula, ¿verdad? But we are going to start with this subject, John. John. John rides a motorcycle to work. Let's continue doing another practice. We are going to do this. Write correctly, don't or doesn't to complete the sentence. Katia, 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 Katia takes, Katia takes the bus to work. Okay, Katia okay. takes the bus to work. Okay, we can write here, Katia takes, right? It's difficult to write with the mouse, right? <coughs> Okay, give me a second. Katia takes the bus to work. And the next one? I take. I don't write. I don't write a bike to work. Excellent. And the next one? My brother. My brother, uh, John. My do not try a car to work. Doesn't. My brother doesn't. 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 Don't take the subway. Yes. And Kevin. Doesn't work. Kevin doesn't work. Okay, excellent. And this point of the class, do you have an equation? Do you have an equation at this point of the class? Do you have an equation? No, no I have Okay, you don't have any equation. Okay. Okay, so let's see some other example here. We are going to do some sentences. You can take the text here. Okay, remember, right? With the pronouns I, you, we, and also they, we are going to use don't or doesn't to make negative sentences. Don't. 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 don't, right? don't. We are don't. going to use don't. We're going to use don't. Let's see an example. I don't walk to work. Can you please read that sentence? I don't go. I don't walk to work. I don't work to work. Okay, excellent. Let's see these other examples. You don't take the bus. You don't take the bus. Okay, excellent. You don't take the bus. You don't take the bus. The next one. They don't write to work. They, they don't, don't write to work. They don't write to work. Okay, ahora para las terceras personas que son he. The third person, which are he and also she. she. We are going to use doesn't. We are going to use doesn't. Can you please say this word with me? Doesn't. 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 Okay, let's see some examples. He yes. 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 Uh, which is it, right? Is this pronoun it? We were talking about people, right? In this moment, right? So in this topic, um, no era necesario verlo, pero it es también forma parte de las terceras personas 
Y el pronombre it se refiere a things, things, cosas, and also, and also animals, right? and also animals. Y también cuando estemos utilizando este pronombre, ¿verdad? tenemos que agregar, tenemos que agregar la s a los verbos, ¿verdad? Si estamos, si estamos hablando de una máquina, por ejemplo, it works. It works. Esta funciona, ¿verdad? It works. Trabaja. Si no funciona, it doesn't work. Igual, ¿verdad? Se trata como una tercera persona. It doesn't, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Do you have any other question? Any other question? No question. Then let's see the last example. It doesn't. It doesn't. Right. Okay. He doesn't ride a motorcycle. He doesn't ride a motorcycle. He doesn't ride a motorcycle. Él no conduce una motocicleta. Muy bien. So this was the sort of examples. Is it? Do you have any question? Do you have any question at the moment? No. No question. Okay. This is the moment, right? If you have a doubt, if you have a question, please ask in this moment, right? Si tiene una duda, una pregunta, this is the moment. Este es el momento, ¿verdad? So, if not, let's continue then. Here, I have a conversation practice. It is a conversation practice room. It's a conversation between two people, Isley and Jason. Isley and Jason. So, Isley say, nice car, Jason. Is it yours? Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's, no, it's my sister. She has a new job and she tries to work. Is her work here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents were downtown, but they don't try to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train. The train doesn't have store near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. Okay. okay. Let's go with part. Ashley said, nice car. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? Bonito carro, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister. No, it's de mi hermana. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her work here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents were downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. Okay. We That's go. too bad. <laughs> That's too bad, right? Uh, Pueden identificar una oración afirmativa en este diálogo, please? What is an example of that? She has my a parents, new job. My, my parents work downtown. Okay, excellent. She has a new job is a good example. And also my parents work downtown is another affirmative sentence. Any other? So they take They use the it public transport. Uh, which one? Can you please repeat? They use it public transportation okay they use public transportation excellent they use public transportation yes that is another affirmative sentence and what about negative sentences what is a negative sentence in this text the train doesn't stop near our house yes Luis, but, you are right 
but they don't try to work. Okay, excellent. They don't try to work. Excellent. Very good. I'm going to choose some volunteers to practice this conversation. And we're going to choose, let me see. Okay, Roberto de Leon, please. And Lorena Elizabeth, can you help me with this? Sí. Okay, uh, Lorena nice Elizabeth. Yes, sí. you can start, you can start. You can start right now. Okay. And vamos a repetir eso, el diálogo con él? Yes, please. Yes, okay. A nice car, Jason. Is it it's yours? Uh, Roberto de Leon, are you there? No, no, it's my, my sister. She, she has a, a, a news. Oh, and she works, and she wants to work. Is he work here in the suburbs? No, 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 it's my job. Okay, continue, my please. Continue, okay. please. My parents work downtown, but they don't and uh, try to work. They use public transportation. They they bus or or the trains. Trains. The train the train does stop near our house, so the take to bus is really slow. Ducks, ducks, too, too bad, too, too bad. Okay, excellent, you did a great job. Thank you, you are doing very good. That was excellent, thank you. So it's a nice car, Jason, is it yours? No, it's my sister, she has a new job and she drives to work. Is her work here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents were downtown but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation, the bus or the train. The train doesn't store near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. That is the conversation. Thank you very much, Roberto and Lorena, right? So today we're going to study these irregular birds. In English, we have two types of birds. We have regular birds and irregular birds. In this case, we're going to study these three birds, have, do, and go. Do you know the meaning of this bird? Conocen el significado de estos verbos en Spanish? Have, do, and go? Yes. Um, yes. yes. Can you help me? What is the meaning Tener, of have? hacer, e ir. Tener, tener, hacer, ir. Okay, excellent. Have, do, and go. So we see the simple present with these three birds. Have, do, and go. With the pronouns I, you, we, and they, we are going to use this bird in the following way. Let's see, I have a card. We do our homework every day. My parents go to work by train. Con las terceras personas, estos verbos cambian. Have se convierte en has. Do en does. En go with goes. My father has a bicycle. My father has a bicycle. My mother does a lot of work at home. Karen goes to work by bus. So I have a card. 
we do our homework every day. My parents go to work by train. Y en la tercera persona cambia, ¿verdad? Totalmente. ¿Se acuerdan que en los ejercicios anteriores que vimos solo agregamos una S al verbo? In these irregular verbs, we are going to use this form, has, para he and she. My father has a bicycle. My mother does a lot of work at home. Karen goes to work by bus. Any new vocabulary in this word, in these sentences? Hay vocabulario nuevo en estas oraciones? A lot. Okay, I have a card. Yo tengo un carro. We do our homework every day. Nosotros hacemos nuestra tarea todos los días. My parents go to work by train. Mis padres van al trabajo ¿verdad? en tren. My father has a bicycle. Mi padre tiene una bicicleta. My mother does a lot of work at home. And Karen goes to work by bus. Now I have a question for you. ¿Podrían decirme algún ejemplo utilizando el verbo have de alguna de sus pertenencias? Let's see, for example, I have a house. Yo tengo una casa. I have a cart. Yo tengo un carro. I have a I have, I have a new table. Okay, I have a new table. I have another. Okay. When you say table, it's I una have, mesa, ¿verdad? Yeah. Okay. I have a dog. I have a dog. Excellent. That is an excellent I example. I, I have. I have a computer. Excellent. I, I have, have a wallet. I have a wallet. Excellent. I have a wallet. That is a good example. I have a horse. I have a horse. Okay. Yo tengo un I caballo. have a telephone. I have a telephone. And I have a cell phone. We can say too. I right? have I, television. I have a television. That is another good uh -huh. example. I have a TV. I have... I have a TV. I have a computer. Excellent. Ahora vamos a utilizarlo en tercera persona. Pueden decirme algo que tenga su mamá o su papá. Vamos a decir she has o he has. She has a garden. She has a garden. Excellent. Ella tiene un jardín. He has a car. He has a card. Él tiene un carro. Excellent. He has, he has a cat. She has a house. He has a cat. She has a house. Very good. Any other example? He has a new job. He has a new job. He has a new job. Excellent. Okay, very good job, guys. So we are going to solve another exercise here. Vamos a resolver un ejercicio más acá. And it is the next one. Give me a second. Here we go. And to complete this exercise, you have to complete the sentences with the correct form of the verbs. Vamos a utilizar los verbos que vimos anteriormente, ¿verdad? Los cuales eran have, go, and do. Y en terceras personas eran has, goes, and does. My brother. Mi hermano. Teacher. Yes. Este, ma, donde, donde, por ejemplo, en esa primera donde dice my brother, my Puede ser how, pero brother se refiere a él. Ahí cómo está el asunto. Voy a explicar. Se está oh. refiriendo a una, a una per, tercera persona. 
Tercera, okay. entonces sería has. Ok, excelente. Uh, cuando hablamos de my brother, estamos hablando de él, de una tercera persona. Muy bien, buena okay. explicación. My brother has a motorcycle. Okay. My brother has a motorcycle. Has. Yes. Has. That is the correct answer. Okay. Has. In the next one. Carla uh, has. Her Carla at does night. her homework at night. Yes. Okay, Carla does her homework at night. Sería does, ¿verdad? Carla does her does. homework at night. Carla hace su tarea uh -huh. en las noches. The next one, Kenya. Kenya goes to the park every day. <coughs> Kenya go to the park every day. In the next one, Peter and I. Peter. Peter and I have to work downtown. Peter and I, el verbo es go. Go, well, go, 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 okay. Peter go. and I go to work downtown. Go. And the next one. You, you go to work. You work. Okay, yes, you're right. The verb is go. You go to work by subway. And the last one. Ellos hacen ejercicio todos los días. They do. They do. They do. Every day. Okay, excellent. They do. Okay, uh, we are going to solve this exercise here. Give me a second. Is this one? In the sentence number one, you say the answer. The correct answer was. In the primera, ¿cuál era la respuesta correcta? My brother has has. has. Okay, uh, my my brother has a motorcycle in the next one. Okay. Carla. Carla does, does, does do. Carla does, does her home. homework at, at one night. In the next one, Kenya. Goes Kenya. to the park. Goes, goes to the park every day. Go goes to the park every day. And then we have Peter and I, Pedro y yo. Go, go, go to the work. Go, go, go to work downtown. Go to work. And, and the next, you, you. Go. you go, you go, you go, you go to work by Sudway. The last one. In the last one, they do. Está correcta, sí. They do. No, no, no. Do. They do. They do. They do exercise. They do exercise. Okay. Do you have any question? No yet. No yet. Okay. Let's practice this. How do you get to work? How do you get to work? This is the first thing we study today. Uh, how do you get to work? I I take a bus. Take the bus. Okay, I take the bus. Okay. I take a train. I take the train. Excellent. Good. I take the taxi. I take to work. I take a, I take a taxi. Can you please repeat the last sentence? Okay, how do you get to work? Then the answer is I, Bernan. I take the bus. This is an option. I take the bus. I take a taxi. I take the train. I, I take a motor motorcycle. Okay, I take the subway. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, we have another option that is I drive. I drive. 
I drive. I I'm drive to work. I drive to work. And we have another option that is I ride. I ride to motorcycle. Okay, I no. ride a motorcycle. And give me a second. This is going small. Now I have here. I ride a motorcycle and la última opción es I walk walk to the to work. I walk to work. I walk to work. Then we have four options to answer this question. How do you get to work? I take, I take a bus or I take the bus. I take the bus, I drive to work, I ride a motorcycle, I walk to work. Here you mention three transportation means. Puede mencionar tres medios de transporte que vimos el día de hoy that we study today. Bus. 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 Bike, a motorcycle. Okay, excellent. Now, do you remember the structure? Do you remember the structure of the sentences in simple present? Yes. We're going to change to this whiteboard. And let me see, I need another one here. Okay, what is the structure to me? What is the structure to me sentence? Subject, verb, and complement. Verb, complement. And complement. Subject, okay. subject. Object. We need subject. a subject. Plus, plus verb. 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 Plus verb. Plus a complement. Plus a complement. Let's see an example. Can you tell me an example? I have a bike. Okay, I have a bike. A Excellent. Bike. I have a bike. I have here the subject, the verb, and the complement. I have a bike. Any other example? I work at the office. Muy bien. I work at the office. I work at the office. Excellent. Do you have any other example? In third person, in la tercera persona. She. She roam in the morning. Works the drive. She works. Okay, she works. Let's say she works in the morning. You say right. She works in the morning. She works in the morning. Ella trabaja en las mañanas. Uh, what about with he? He. He works in the hospital. Okay, he works. He works. He works at the hospital. At the hospital. hospital. Excellent. Okay, then we have negative sentences. We also study negative sentence today. Uh, what do we need to make a negative sentence? Such. We need a subject. Um, Plus negative. Okay. Don't. don't. Si, es, si es tercera persona, we're going to use that same. That's a verb. Verb, verb. verb and complement. And complement, right? Yes, you're right. And an example is I. I don't have a bike. Okay, excellent. I don't have a bike. bike. I don't have a bike. Yo no tengo una bicicleta. I don't have a bike. Any other example, guys? You don't cook your dinner. Okay, you don't cook your dinner. You don't cook your dinner. Excellent. You don't cook your dinner. Tú no cocinas tu cena, ¿verdad? You don't cook your dinner. And what about with third person? I don't like Susan Salvador. Okay, I don't like 
Can you please repeat? I don't like. I don't like. I don't like. To live. Hamburger. <laughs> okay. I don't, I don't like hamburgers. Someone. I don't, like hamburgers. I don't like to live in San Salvador. Okay, why not? I don't like it's beautiful the city. <laughs> San Salvador yeah. is beautiful. Man. <laughs> okay, and what about the third person? She, she do or she doesn't? Does. What we're going to do? She use? doesn't. Doesn't. Okay, excellent. She doesn't. She doesn't. Right? She doesn't what? Ride a um, motorcycle. Okay, she doesn't ride a motorcycle. She doesn't take She doesn't She doesn't take the train. She doesn't rate. Okay, excellent. And also we studied this bird today. This bird. Is this another one? We use the, these three irregular verbs. Have, do, what is the other one? Do and go. 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 And go, right? And, and go. go. Con los siguientes pronombres, I, you, we, uh, you. and also they. We, they. They, ¿verdad? Los vamos a utilizar normalmente, ¿verdad? Si tú, I have a... I have a cat, you say, right? I mean, do I have a cat? Um, I do a lot of work. I do a lot of work. I do a lot of work. And I go. I go to the park. To the... Repeat to teacher. Okay, thank you, thank you, you're right. I appreciate that observation. I go to the park. In the third person, el verbo have se convierte a cual? Has. has. Por has. Okay, has. has, right? She has a car. Has. She. What is another option? She. She has a car. El verbo do pasa a ser does. She does. She does. She does. Her she homework. Does. Homework. She does. she does her homework. Ella hace su tarea. And finally, we have go. Go. He goes. He goes. He goes. goes. He goes. Goes. To the movies, right? He goes to the movies. El va al cine. He goes to the movies. Okay, guys, um, do you have any question? No, not yet. No, not I yet. have. Okay, yes, give me a second. This is the auction. Okay, this is the moment. If you have a question, you can ask me. This is the moment. Do you have any question? No question. Yo, teacher. Okay, Oscar Baltasar, tell me what is your question. Gracias, teacher. Es que, insisto, me he estado sacando mucho, es que me está fallando el internet, teacher, y insisto que por favor no comparta la, las diapositivas que estamos viendo y todo, porque eh, prácticamente me ha sacado muchas veces y no he puesto mucha atención. Y no sé si ya pasó lista también, pero no, no, no he estado mucho porque me saca mucho. A mí, por cierto, a mí también me sacó, pero pusieron ahí en el grupo que, que como que los había sacado y ya no había dejado que entrara. No sé, alguien puso ahí en el grupo. Ok, I'm going to check and I'm going to, to see what happened. Ya voy a ver qué es lo que sucedió, ¿verdad? Para solventar ese problema para la clase de mañana, ¿verdad? If you don't have any other question. Uh, just remember you that you have to work in the platform. You have to complete the exercises. Usted tiene que completar los ejercicios en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Levante la mano. ¿Quién ya empezó? ¿Quién ya empezó? ¿Quién ya hizo los primeros ejercicios? Okay, Luis, you are doing good. 
Any other person? So I recommend you to start, right? Le recomiendo que comience ya, ¿verdad? If you can solve some exercise after the class, you can do it, right? Si puede resolver los ejercicios después de la clase, excelente, ¿verdad? Excelente. Better. Yeah. Would be teacher. nice, pretty nice. Yes? Teacher, uh, y, y material va de apoyo no van a dar. Va a pasar lista mm. hoy, teacher. Fíjense que lista no se va a pasar, ¿verdad? Que automáticamente voy a tomar capturas de pantalla, ¿verdad? Aquí voy a tomar unas capturas de pantalla en este momento de los de quienes participaron, de quienes participaron en la clase del día de hoy. Porque aquí me aparecen, ¿verdad? Sí, y nos va a enviar el link de esta clase que, bueno, antes empezábamos esta clase que grababa, pero eso ya nos mandaba el link, nosotros solo entrar y ver esto, la clase de hoy. En la plataforma de YouTube aparece. aparece. Sí, sí Sí, ya en unos momentos voy a subir el video, ¿verdad? También van a poder verlo ahí. Les voy a mandar el link, ¿verdad? Para que lo puedan ver. Ok. 